okay hello everyone so today we'll be going to learn how to derive dimensional formulas but before moving to that topic first let us discuss let us revise how to find out dimension so velocity is displacement by time so displacement is length t is time so velocity will be l by t l t minus 1 so dimension of velocity is l t minus 1 similarly acceleration is velocity divided by time taken velocity is l t minus 1 t is time so dimension of acceleration is l t minus 2 similarly impulse is force into time so force is mass into acceleration so for mass m and for acceleration l t minus 2 for t we have put caps lock t so m l t minus 1 so this is the way you have to find out dimension when the formula is given to you similarly power is force into velocity so force is m l t minus 2 we have already derived f is m l t minus 2 velocity is l t minus 1 so dimension of power will be m l 2 t minus 3 so this is how we can find out dimensions of different derived quantities now suppose uh, you don't know how to find out you know uh, how to find out what are the power of different quantities suppose that we know that dimension of or formula for velocity is displacement by time so suppose someone tells you that v directly proportional to t and v directly proportional to t suppose you don't know the formula for velocity suppose the formula for velocity is unknown so even the first equation can sound correct because v depends on d and v depends on t even second equation can also sound correct because we also depend on t we also depend on d even third equation can also sound correct because v is depending on d and v is depending on t so what are the actual powers of t and d that can be used that can be derived with the help of dimensional formula so for velocity we already know the formula that is d by t so power of d is 1 and power of t is minus 1 but there are many quantities for which formula is unknown and we can use dimensional analysis method to find out dimensional formula for all these quantities let us understand how so suppose it is given that pressure depends on density and pressure depends on velocity now find out formula for pressure now we don't know formula for pressure suppose that pressure depends on density and i have put power a so a is unknown suppose pressure depends on velocity and power is b suppose b and b is unknown so replacing both this proportion with a constant k remember this k is dimensionless so p will be equal to k rho raised to power a v raised to power b now pressure is force divided by area for force we already know the dimension ml t minus 2 for area dimension is l square this l square will go up and the dimensional formula for pressure is ml minus 1 t minus 2 similarly density is mass divided by volume m is mass volume is l cube so dimension for density is ml raised to power minus 3 and velocity we already know that is lt minus 1 so putting dimension of pressure to be ml minus 1 t minus 2 k is dimensionless there will be no dimension of k for density we will put ml minus 3 raised to power a and for velocity we will put lt minus 1 raised to power b opening all the formulas so ml t m l minus 1 t minus 2 will be equal to m raised to power a this a will come on both the quantity so m raised to power a and l raised to power minus 3 multiplied by a l raised to power minus 3 a l raised to power b and t raised to power minus b now if we will equate the powers so m raised to power a m raised to power 1 so a will be equal to 1 similarly t raised to power minus b t raised to power minus 2 so b will be equal to 2 so in the formula for pressure power of density will be 1 and power of velocity will be equal to 2 now let us take one more example suppose pressure depends on height density and acceleration due to gravity g so what we will do is p directly proportional to height raised to power a a is unknown p directly proportional to density raised to power b b is unknown p directly proportional to g raised to power c c is unknown a b c can be positive or negative or zero also so now replacing all the proportional with a constant k so p will be k h raised to power a rho raised to power b g raised to power c putting dimension of pressure that is ml minus 1 t minus 2 of height that is length density ml minus 3 g lt minus 2 now opening all the you know opening all the brackets if we compare the power the value of b will be equal to 1 c will be equal to 1 and a will be equal to 1 so in the formula for pressure power of height can be power of height will be 1 power of density will be 1 power of g will be 1 so this is a way 
in which you can find out powers of different quantities in a formula so but the you know the most negative thing about this formula is we can't find the value of k with the help of dimensional method k is derived from experimental conditions so you do a experiment you put the value in this formula and you can get value of k so we'll take one more example suppose it is a simple pendulum and there is a bob of mass m and a rod of length or a string of length l so if we'll push this mass a little bit it will be in you know a simple harmonic motion so suppose it is given that time period of this motion depends on length depends on g and depends on mass of the bob m g is acceleration due to gravity so i'll put power of l to be a power of g to be b power of m to be c and replacing all this proportional with a constant k so t will be equal to k l raised to power a g raised to power b m raised to power c now putting all the dimensions so for t will put t k is dimensionless for l will put l for g will put l t minus 2 for m will put m so if we we'll compare then c will be equal to 0 because there is no m on left hand side so minus 2b will be equal to 1 so b will be minus half and if we we'll open up this bracket then l raised to power a plus b will be there so a plus b is 0 so a will be equal to half so this is how you have to derive the dimensional formula for different physical quantities now there will be an online quiz with this video that you have to submit also the video or the link of the video of the quiz will be in the description below so you have to submit an online quiz on the basis of this lecture okay